I'm gonna do a back to back to back head comparison with the Coleman CC100X mini bike with the Predator 212 Hemi on there. I'm gonna use this bike because I can get really consistent with it from zero to 30. The front end's um, easy to keep on the ground. So I'm gonna use this bike from zero to 30 and then a top speed. And I'm gonna go ahead and run this Predator Hemi and this Hemi has a um, stock, totally stock head. The only thing it has done is 22 pound valve springs. And then internally it has a mod 2 cam, billet rod, billet flywheel. So there's nothing special, just a basic build. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this first. And then I'm gonna pull the head off of it. I'm gonna go ahead and install this totally stock GX160 head, stock valves. The only thing it has done to it is 22 pound springs, just because of the mod 2 cam that's in the, in the Predator on the mini bike. And then it has the 14cc chamber. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this one from zero to 30 and then top speed. And then I'm gonna go ahead and run this basic run-of-the-mill Predator head with 22 pound springs, but everything else is stock. Stock valves, stock everything else. Um, just a run-of-the-mill Predator head. I'm gonna do zero to 30 and a top speed run with this head. And we'll see which one with the exact same engine in the exact same mini bike with the exact same carb, same exhaust, even the same spark plug. I'll run everything the same and we'll see which one does the best. All right, and for the zero to 30 runs, I'm gonna run uh, two runs and then average them together. And the um, bike has a 12 tooth on the clutch and a 75 on the rear for a 6.25 ratio for the test. So I think it'll probably average around, I don't know, 50 miles per hour, give or take. And for the zero to 30 runs, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, use this draggy device. This thing is super accurate for uh, drag racing. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I mean, it's down to, I think, a few hundredths of a second accuracy. Zero to 30. Hemi head. All right, the first zero to 30 with the Hemi head did zero to 30 in 3.92. 3.92. I don't know if you can see it, but anyway, 0 to 30, 3.92. I'm gonna go ahead and do it again, then we'll average the two together. All righty, 0 to 30, hit me head. All right, this time around, the Hemi head to zero to 30 in 3.39, 3.39. All right, top speed run, Hemi head. It did a top speed of 52 miles per hour with the Hemi head. 52 miles per hour. All righty, let's go ahead and swap this head out for a GX160 head. All righty, go ahead and pull this carb off. I think I just probably leave everything hooked up. You line and everything, just put it off to the side. Alrighty, there's that. Let me move this thing off over here. All right, go ahead and pull this plug out. I'm gonna use the exact same plug, too. All right, go ahead and use this in the GX160. Go ahead and pull this valve cover off. Right. Go ahead and loosen up these adjusters. Go ahead and pop his head off. Pull this beast off. Alrighty then. So there's that. Hemi head off. Alrighty then, we'll use the um, 
same thickness head gasket too. All right, let's check the thickness of this head gasket. Let's make sure I put the same thickness back on it. All right, so it's a 12, 12 thousandths head gasket. So let's pop this 12 on here and install this GX160 head. All right, torque these babies down. Go ahead and see these push rods down in here. All right, go ahead and set the rocker rubber down in here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set this at three. All right, there's a three. Now make sure a four don't fit. If it don't fit, we're good. Four don't fit. All right, four don't fit. So let me throw a valve cover on here. All right, so there's a valve cover. So I'm gonna go ahead and now put the same exact plug that was in the Hemi back in here, back in the GX160 head. All right, so we install this carb and we shall put the carb in the uh, header pipe on there. We should be all right. That down, all right. So now we just throw the header pipe on here, and I think we're good to go. We'll test her out. Pop the header pipe back on here, and we should be good to go. All right, let's see if this beast will fire up. Test out the GX160 head. Zero to 30. All right, zero to 30, GX160 head. All right, let's see what we got. Zero to 30, GX160. 3.68, 3.68. Zero to 30. All right, the 0 to 30 GX160 head. All right, let's see what she did. All right, 0 to 30, 3.70, 3.70. This thing is super consistent. All right, top speed run, GX160 head. speed of 52 miles per hour 52 miles per hour according to this gps i'll check out the camera gps when i download the uh, video but it's pretty much the same as the uh hemi it actually feels a little snappier than the hemi all right i got the numbers down for the gx160 head now let's go ahead and swap it out for the standard 212 predator head
go do some zero to 30 runs. Top speed. All right, it's zero to 30. Standard 212 Predator head. Alright, the first run I did a 4.01, 4.01. Let me try let me try it again. Standard predator head. Alright, a 0 to 30, 212 predator head. It did zero to thirty in three point eight one. Three point eight one from zero to thirty. All right, a top speed stock predator head. see what she did the stock factory predator head did 52 miles an hour too so they all three did 52 miles an hour next time i'll have to try it with a um a little bit taller gear because every one of them reached top speed maximum rpm potential of the engine all right so i have all the numbers for the hemi head versus the gx160 head versus the predator 212 head and they all did 52 miles per hour. So that just shows me I didn't have enough gear on the bike because they all reached the uh, maximum RPM potential of the cam in the, in the uh, engine. So, uh, so next time around, I'm gonna have to add more gear to get a top speed on those, on those uh, heads. But from zero to 30, you could tell a difference. Um, the Hemi head averaged 3.65 and the uh, GX160 3.69. I mean, they were pretty much identical um the gx160 is super consistent a 3.70 and a 3.68 and then the uh, hemi was a 3.92 and a 3.39 and then the predator 212 a 4.01 and a 3.81 for an average of 3.91 so out of the three the uh gx160 seems the snappiest to me it, it like has a it has more um, roll-in throttle response. Like if you roll into the throttle, it just feels more snappy. It might be because of the 14cc chamber and the compression, maybe. has a little more compression. It just feels more snappy overall out of the three heads to me. But, I mean, that's with the small cam. So, I mean, who knows what it'll do with the big cam. I mean, I'm pretty sure the Hemi head might outperform with the big cam because it has the big valves. But, I mean, who knows. So, anyway, I'm going to have to do another test and um, add more gear to the bike this time.